Hello and welcome to Anthony's TV. My name is Jet Duxbury. He's Tay Tay. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about a very special promotion on the following two keyboards, the PXS 1000 and the PXS 3000 from Casio. Let's get into the video. Ambi, 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 ente music, Tay Tay. Yeah. All possible because of this promotion running on these keyboards. Well, not really, but it's one of the reasons to buy it, okay? I was just showing off the fact that on my phone there, I am transmitting the sound into this keyboard via Bluetooth, and I found a drone on Deezer. And uh, the deal is at the moment, if you buy one of these keyboards from us, that you're going to get three months subscription to Deezer, worth about £30. And uh, I didn't know about Deezer. I was speaking to my dad the other day, because I'm a Spotify guy, but my dad uses Deezer. It turns out my mum as well. And uh, I checked it out. I'm probably telling you something you already know. But it's essentially all the music in the world, and you're going to get three months subscription with it. And what's cool is both these keyboards have Bluetooth audio. Anyway, stop yakking on. That's the promo. I'll talk about the similarities first. Let's go, Tay Tay. <laughs> Things both of these models share. The chassis, you can see that, right? They're the same size. They're the same weight, 11.2 kilograms. On that note of size, they are the slimmest 88 key note piano that you can buy from us. Slimmest 88 key keyboard out on the market. Both use, uh, can be powered from the wall or six AA batteries giving you four hours of battery life. They both have the same speakers. They both have the same amp in there. So I think it's uh, two stereo speakers, eight watts per side. Really loud, right, Tay? Yeah. Crazy loud. Uh, absolutely, he, he heard what I was listening to when I was in the bathroom, so, um, and that was loud. Uh, uh, note on the action, it's the smart scaled action, they call it, from Casio. I think it's great, heavy at the bottom, low at the top like a real piano. They'll, just to kind of get there if there's any comments, there's some videos that got some traction on the fact that the black and the white keys weren't the same weight. Honestly, to my touch, but I'm not a classical, as you can tell, badass, I can't feel the, anything that would stop me playing the piano normally. I don't feel it myself, so don't worry about it. That's my suggestion. Uh, they're all the bits where they're similar. I'm going to talk about the bits where they're different now. Big difference is to the first one. Let's talk about where a shop is the price. Okay, so the PXS 1000 is 499. 
starting off with that. Uh, we do lots of bundles, so check that on the website, and we've got plenty of stock, which is good at the moment, because everyone wants to learn to play piano, and everyone's buying piano, so it's good that we've got these in. PXS 3000 is 679 starting off. Okay, so why am I paying more money when they've got all those things are the same? I think the big differentiation is whether you want more sounds and more connectivity to external stuff. So if you're looking just to get into the piano and uh, you're, you're thinking, I'm mainly going to play piano and maybe a handful of other sounds, S1000 for you, because it's got 18 sounds in it. Not loads, but enough to, you know, electric pianos. In that intro, I had uh, electric piano. But here's what the grand piano sounds like on that. and it's the same sound in each one. That's the mellow grand I've got in there. Hey, and it brings me to a great big difference as well. If you're someone that likes a screen, you'll like this keyboard because the screen is there. It's handy for especially secondary functions like when I hooked up the Bluetooth. I, I like the screen. I think that's a good reason to buy that one. But let's just, just check there, the same piano. Cool, so you get similar sound engine but so this has got 18 this one has 700 sounds and you can see over here we've got these soft touch buttons all the different categories I've done videos on these below um, that will be linked below so I'm not going to bore you with all those sounds I'm just talking about the differences also this has styles not something I'm too keen on but a lot of people will like it at jam, so it means that if I want to get the party started with Tay Tay, yeah. uh, I'm not even going to do it, but essentially, if I hit play, let's see what happens. Basically, it tracks what you're playing in the left hand, puts chords in, a bit like uh, the, what the Yamaha stuff does, uh, or to accompaniment. So that's cool. If you want to get into that and you think that's going to be fun, obviously that was the nastiest example ever because I'm not going to go through and search it and I'm rubbish at it. So forgive me, right? Other differences. We've got a pitch bend here. So if you want to do wibbly wibbly wee wee. <laughs> So we've got the pitch bend there, we've got these two knobs which are assignable and that's what's great when you're using this as a MIDI controller. When you're using it with virtual instruments or other bits of external gear, having these extra bits to control, especially the assignable knobs, if you wanted to do any changes to the mix or parameters on your bit of software, that's invaluable. And I can imagine a lot of people wanting to buy this as the MIDI controller that sits on their desk because the worst bit about MIDI controllers is they don't have any sound in themselves. And this is pretty similarly priced to, say, the Arturia Keylab 88. And if you're not using all those faders, you just want a few assignable controllers, this is a cool buy because it means that for those moments where you can't be bothered to wait for the computer turner on, or, uh, yeah, it's just a faff sometimes, and it's a vibe kill when you have to wait for the computer or the software, you can turn this on, it's slimmer than any other controller out in the market, and you'll be able to get some sound out of it straight away. So that's really cool. Uh, one, the, one of the only other differences as well, it's got a USB device thing, so you could put a USB stick in with some songs if you want, if you don't want to beam it in via Bluetooth. But that's about it, Tay Tay. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. We're listening, and we'll try and learn from it. I'm going to play you out. Thanks for watching.